Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is September 18th through the 21st and I feel like a broken record. eBay was broken. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. My sales were very low compared to what it had been, um, but since but since I'm having average, if not above average, sales, so I'm not going to complain too much. Hopefully, whatever they were working on that week, they have fixed. And fingers crossed, y'all, fingers crossed, we're good now through fourth quarter. Because fourth quarter is starting here in a few days. So hopefully, everything's going to just get better and better and better. That's, that's the hope, right? I've talked about this the entire year. We're working towards fourth quarter. I know some of you probably don't sell the same kinds of stuff that I do, but fourth quarter historically is, of course, my best quarter because I sell mostly toys. Um, we are kind of moving, you know, where clo I've got clothes and Christmas and just, you know, the small appliance stuff. I mean, so I think being a well-rounded store has helped tremendously. Um, but I still have majority of all my listings are toys. All right, I've spent the whole morning, y'all. Here's all my whatnot stuff for Saturday. I think this video will go out Friday night, probably, and then I'm having a whatnot show Saturday at 3 p.m. And then I'm going to be, I might, I'm, I'm trying to convince Robert maybe to do one, just kind of what do they call them, pop ups. Um, next week and maybe tr see how the Barbie, the Barbie, not Barbie fashion doll clothes do. Um, but I might make it a little bit later. I I'm assuming, I my gut says Barbie clothes or that size clothes will sell well. So I think a lot of mine are handmade, but I do think I have, I have a Ikea bag of just stuff I've accumulated and haven't done anything with so I'm thinking maybe just do a pop-up kind of one unless we get really busy trying to get ready for our trip next Friday but that's the plan so Saturday and then we'll see all right I had sales across my three platforms I'm back on the fence again whether I want to renew all of my listings on Etsy one more time for the fourth quarter you know it, they're there i just have to pay the 20 cents and then they'll you know stay there through the fourth quarter and then after that i will just depending on how it does go ahead and quit i don't know i don't know if it's worth the effort and the expense at this point to go ahead and put put all of them active i have like 500 and some listings that have gone um extinct that's not expired <laughs> they've gone expired because i set it up so that they didn't automatically renew so i don't know i don't know but all right let's get to it we're going to start off with a viewer sale unfortunately the we had a conversation where she had told me that she was a viewer um but i guess when a listing is done a transaction is done. Mercari takes blocks out the conversation, so I'm going to say thank you, but I'm sorry I don't know you remember your first name, but thank you for buying the Jelly Cat Bashful Rabbit for $9. All right, and then on Poshmark. Y'all, Mercari is so slow. Slow. I know somebody made a comment that they they refuse to list on Mercari anymore. It's just, I don't know. And then I, I think I did pretty decent on Poshmark for the four days. Um, I sold these American Eagle Super Stretch de Deans, Jeans for $12. And then these Mickey Mouse and Friends Figure Lot. It was a very interesting lot. Some of the characters I hadn't remembered, like Clarabelle and Pete. Um, it sold for $25 on Poshmark. And then I had a bundle order, and they didn't even offer me less. They paid my price. They just did a bundle. I don't get that happening very often. 
but they bought this brown sloth for $15 and this Dakin Wolf plush for $25. Then I sold these Old Navy jeans for $15. Y'all, Old Navy, $15. If you can get them for a dollar, why not? And then this Ralph Lauren polo bear with a sweater from 1998 sold for $15. And then eBay. If you're new to my channel, everything that I list starts on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross list to the other platforms. Um, a majority, 99% of my sales are on eBay. Um, and I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $8.02, they also paid additional for shipping. First thing is this Am Scan Bear Plush with Happy Birthday shirt on, sold for $8.02. Ducks and baby ducklings ceramic figures. I think I picked these up at an estate sale where it was fill a bag for $5. They had handed out like Walmart bags. I picked up the things that I was interested in and then I just kind of filled in the bags with a lot of the like holiday knickknacks and stuff like that. So I got an offer of $7.49 on this. So I went ahead and accepted it. And it's breakable in Robert Packs. Elf Pets. This is the St. Bernard. I've sold this a couple of times. Definitely watch um, for some of the additional characters, the extras from Elf on a Shelf. Um, they tend to do well. This one sold very quickly for $9.25. Mattel Monster High Mousadies. Y'all, I bought a huge tote, tote of Monster High stuff probably last year for $65. And it sat, and it sat, and it sat. And I have forced myself to pull out most of the dolls. There's still a few that need cleaned. Their hair is like really dirty. Um, so I need to do them and then I still have all the clothes, all the shoes, and then some accessories and stuff that went, I don't know, to, there was a house that we didn't take. So I have a feeling it's all the accessories to that house. So I, I need to quit buying these big bulk things and then it sits forever. But this doll sold for $13.45. Now, I picked this up at a recent, like, one of these long neighborhood sales. I went the day, actually, before the sale officially started and bought a bunch of vintage. A lot of it was Fisher-Price. This actually had um, a whole bunch of Fisher-Price food in it. But I found out that it was actually, with the Fun With Food Fisher-Price set, that was the salad from McDonald's. So the only thing that actually went to the set was the container, the cheese, and the fork. So I went ahead and listed the other stuff in a different different lot. But this sold very quickly for $17.95. I paid a dollar per bag of stuff that day. Ace Husky Wolf Plush sold for $14. Hallmark I Love You. Animated plush sold for $12.07. Three dogs in a row. This is Ty Muggsy Bernie's Mountain Dog from 2002. Sold for $13.45. And then this coffee mug came from the private pick estate sale that we did where I bought all of that plush a lot of it still new in the box or new with tags. Um, but I picked up quite a few um, Care Bear things, you know, uh, binders and these cups and just a bunch of other stuff. This cup sold for $9.50. <laughs> we buy a lot of small appliances and then we piece them out. Sometimes I don't even bother listing the base um, because it's usually the last piece to sell because um, it's the heaviest. It's got the motor, but I sometimes I sell them 
and this was a Regal Law Machine food processor. This is just the base. I've sold most of the other parts that went with it um, for $12.07. I picked these up at an estate sale. Mm -hmm. They were called True View Film Cards. They're cards that kind of look like the Viewmaster reels, but these are square. Let me show you. This is what they look like. Um, there were, let's see, Lady and the Tramp, Snow White, The Night Before Christmas, Bear Cubs, Mickey Mouse, just a variety. Just I thought about splitting them up, but then I'm all about the lots and all of that stuff just to make ease of listing stuff. These sold for $24.22. I probably paid a dollar or two at an estate sale. Now these, anytime you see them, pick them up. Pick them up. These are for the crock pots by Rival. This is the bread and cake bake pan. Um, I've seen two different sizes. This is the larger one that went in like the larger round um, crock pots. And then I've had a smaller version that went in a smaller size. Um, this one sold for $22.45. They sell every time. Now, I just picked these up recently at a yard sale. Picked up, I think, three different backpacks. One was Barbie. One was this Dora the Explorer. And one was, oh, Powerpuff Girls. This is the first one to sell. Paid a dollar, sold for $31.45. Bukowski Angel Bear 5-inch plush. Um, I've picked up that brand a couple of times. I do not find it very often. So it's one of those, um, It when I see it, I'm going to grab it because it always sells very quickly for me. It sold for $15.95. Jack-o'-lantern and Ghost Bisque Porcelain decorations. They were from Walmart Vintage. Sold for $17.95. Aurora My Little Pony plush backpack. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins in Asheville a really long time ago. I'm not quite sure. I think one time I went, I, I realized it was no longer listed. It happens. I'm not quite sure why, but anytime I do an inventory, even before I accidentally deleted 200 listings, um, there was always dropped listings. I relisted it, but it still has been probably six months since I relisted it. Um, but it finally sold for an offer of $9. You really do need to come up with an inventory system to make sure that everything that you think is listed remains listed. And then I noticed the other day, y'all, when we... Um, eBay, well, not even eBay, when the postal system changed to Ground Advantage, we were all told that we needed to go ahead, especially with our first class items, to switch it over to Ground Advantage. Um, I did it, believe me, with 10,000 listings. It took a little while, but because I do flat rate shipping, I was able to sort and then just do, you know, 100 or so at a time. Um, but I've, no, I've seen a couple of posts now on Facebook where people didn't change their first class and their stuff is just sitting because it needs um, shipping. There's no shipping on their listings. So if you didn't do it, go double check your listings um, because this person had several hundred listings that they, they thought it was just going to be automatic and they weren't sound. All of a sudden their sales had just dropped. Probably anything new that they listed, you know, would have had it, but if it, it's an old listing, you need to go in and make sure that you've changed everything to ground advantage. All right, this is a Russ Douglas Bear plush. His name is Douglas. Um, I'm actually surprised that it sold relatively quickly because, you know, Douglas is another brand of a plush. I thought it might get lost in all of the um, the, the searches, but it sold for $24.22. Okay, 
Daisy Kingdom. I remember picking this up at a church sale or something. A couple of different fabrics caught my attention. It's not something I normally look through, but I know Daisy Kingdom is, if you find little girls' dresses that are made from Daisy Kingdom fabric, they tend to do really well on eBay. This was just Christmas fabric. I went ahead and measured it. It was 24 by 74 inches. It had all the information I needed to identify it. It's been listed probably um, since last year when I found it. So when I got an offer of $30, I just went ahead and accepted it. Williamsburg Salt Glazed Stoneware. I picked these up um, at an estate sale a while ago. And then for some reason, I, it's they've been listed a while. I don't recommend picking them up unless it's something really different, but these were just plain old pictures, and then I did it again. Sometimes I think, oh, I've picked that up before. I should pick it up again. No, so I finally got rid of the first set. Now I've got another set I need to get rid of, um, but these two sold for $14. Gund Goonie Bird Plush from 1978. I got a $25 offer right now. If it's an old listing, I'm pretty much letting stuff go if the prices are reasonable. You know, I'm not going to take a $2 offer, but if it's like 60 to 70% of my listed price, I've been pretty much letting stuff go. Animal Adventure Floppy Elephant 16 inch sold for seven dollars again older listing had some condition issues i was just glad to get an offer disney's pixar coco dog plush this is the smaller one sold for twelve dollars goofballs this is bailey the bear from 2012 sold for eight dollars and two cents i'm happy with the bread and butter sales. Now this probably listed sometime last year. These were, um, I picked them up at an estate sale, probably handmade. They say I use the keywords crochet, boot, shoe, shaped Christmas stocking. Sold for $18 and 55 cents. I list seasonal stuff all year. But of course, a lot of them are going to sell as you're going into that season. This is Chico's Women's Shirt. We see these a lot at yard sales in our area. Usually I can pick them up for a dollar or fill a bags. Um, this one sold for $15. Fuchsia Pink. All right, this was a multi-item order. This person bought the Kelly Toy Pink Llama and then the Dandy Musical Llama for a total of two of the items for a total of $15. Robert got confused with this. This is a, I said it was a baby kangaroo because I've seen them before where they fit down into a, the pocket of um, a mama kangaroo and they look like this. I didn't even think Robert kept this saying he thought that this was a rabbit. It confused him when he was looking for it, but I'm pretty sure it's a baby kangaroo and the bottom is just flat. It goes into the pouch. Um, sold for $8.02. Commonwealth black and white bear plush. Um, I had the price listed pretty high. I got this offer of $28. I always, unless I, you know, if it's much less, I'm going to go check comps because there was actually one listed for like $24. So I just went ahead and thought it's, it's time. It was an old listing, $28. I'm going to go ahead and accept. All right. I found this when we were down visiting the tea and pickers in Cleveland. Um, I bought this and something else at a yard sale. I want to say I paid $5 for this. It is Woolrich Canoe Advertising. It was like a store store display. There was one comp that sold for $50. 
Um, I listed this and it sold, I want to say within a day or two um, on an offer for $50. Levi's 505 men's shorts sold for $13.51. Little Tykes Wagon Replacement Animals. There's a little white wagon that a, a toddler can pull. There's four animals in there. I can't remember what the other one was, but I picked these up at the bins. So I probably, I might have $2 in them. Um, and they've been listed for a while. And I got a $10 offer. Clark's. We buy a lot of Clark's. Usually a couple of bucks. And a lot of times we get, you know, 12 to $20 for them. But these are Clark's Wallabies men's shoes. Even in the condition that they are, still sold for $37. Now, this is one of those times I always tell you guys, a, a lot of times I'll find something and I just want to add it to a, a current listing. So I'll end the listing, add something to it, bump the price up and relist. This is what happened with this. Um, I had the little musical car. I found these two figures, um, the little dog and the monkey from the same series, ended it, added them to it, and it sold the same day. Didn't even have time to go on a sale. They sold for $12.95. There's a little green frog that goes in that series too. L.L. Bean men's jeans, they are flannel lined, sold for $19.18. Chosun, these are the Big Feet plush from JCPenney's. This is the giraffe, sold for $14. Thai shaggy brown bear plush from 2010, sold for $10. Pier 1 Imports, I picked, um, I want to say there were four or six different, no, sets of two, so three sets of two of these coffee cups where the animals, it was a elephant trunk was the handle, a giraffe, maybe its neck was a handle, and then this chimpanzee, this is the last one I think that I have, um, and the chimpanzee cup sold for $12.07, I want to say I paid five dollars for all of them now i picked up a box small box um, of what i thought were doll clothes at the time at an estate sale i want to say i paid five dollars for the whole box it ended up being snoopy and bell vintage outfits and a lot of them had their original little pamphlet that went with them showing the outfit on the plush a lot of them that i listed had you know i kept them together, but these four didn't have any of the clothes. So I just listed the four of them together and sold for $7. First impressions, this is a Macy's only fair, um, sold for $10.49. And my best sell of the week is this thing. I I can't remember where we picked this up. Maybe at an estate sale or a yard sale. A yard sale. That's what it was. It was called String Thing, and it was a limbo game. Oh, I have the video showing it working. I took it outside. Let's see if it'll let me do it. I don't know how to make it work. Oh, I got to turn this off. Hold on, y'all. All right, now. Here we go. gonna work. Oh, that's when I had my sore hand. Back. And then you do limbo through it. I thought it was very interesting. Listed it kind of high. There were, I think I got the price off of Worth Point, um, but I ended up selling it. I think I put it on there for $85. I don't even remember and I took it off. Pretty sure it was $85. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Lots of different types of things that I'm selling. Like I said, this that four-day period, eBay had issues. But since then, you know, I'm doing 
average to above average in my daily sales. So I'm very happy. And I'm listing away, listing like crazy. All right, y'all, get to work. Bye.